gaslighting, and mental illness. The other day, just like every day, when it's time for me to reveal a truth, a truth will spring up on me. And a truth in the form of a memory that sprung up on me was during COVID-19. The worst, mentally exhilarating period of my life as an individual and all our lives as a crew. Because that's what we are, a crew. And within this crew, macro, we are split into micro units. Units that, remember, add up together to what we call humanity. Remember this throughout the entirety of this global message. And in my micro hell, because Earth is hell. COVID-19 was scary. Many, many minds, including my own, were not ready for COVID-19. I never took it serious because it was not worth taking serious. Yet it still got to me because I was around those who took it too far. One of those people being caretaker number two, the woman I call X surrogate mother. This woman was a tornado of madness. So much so that one day earlier this year, a neighbor of mine was walking her dog with her daughter and stopped me by the mailbox and said, is your mother okay? And I said, oh, how? She said, oh, we were very concerned for her. We, the neighborhood. Yeah, we called the police and we were the ones and she just spilled her guts out. And I, gaslit her and myself under the guise of, oh, it's family. Let me protect her into believing and shunning the truth. Into believing more of a lie, into burying more truth because that's what COVID-19 was supposed to show you. COVID-19 was the biggest gaslight of our personal lifetime. Scaring the world into sitting in their homes for almost two years. I never told ex-surrogate mother that to continue the gaslight, of course, to continue the gaslight that I'm safe in this current situation I'm set up at. 
to continue the gaslight that I'm loved in this current situation that I'm set, set up at. To, the, to continue the gaslight that I have any authority. In this current situation that I'm set up at. And that's the thing. As I do these broadcasts, I feel too. I feel it in my my arms. I feel it in my soul. I feel it in my body. It's tough. Ungaslighting myself is tough. Because when I do this, and I appear so strong and I come on the screen and I'm doing what I'm doing. I always have to remember to focus. So during COVID-19, many horrors happened in this house and the neighbors were not far off. If the grass, the lawn not being cut for months wasn't enough. Because that's something too. People don't want you to focus on the outside because that's how you can tell somebody's true state. Without them even saying a word. So amongst the horrors was the gaslight. And what does gaslight do? Well, one of the things it did historically was help grave diggers see. Gaslight was used to help grave diggers see. So rather than bastardizing the gift of gaslighting, Let's look at it for what it truly is, light. Light that flares. And if not handled correctly, can cause a fire. Yet when those fires happen, like all fires, it clears the way. I have countless stories of being gaslit during COVID to wake the fuck up. Theme number two's favorite theme to always tell me was, you're gaslighting me, you're gaslighting me, you're gaslighting me. And I never understood that until I was gaslit into a mental hospital for mental illnesses that have nothing to do with anything because the psychiatrist couldn't do his job and just simply say, oh, you're neurodivergent. Because saying I'm neurodivergent would take from his money, would take from his supposed authority, would take from his image. The memory that sprung this very necessary conversation was one day after I was taking a shower. I went into my room, got ready for the day. I mean, it was a COVID day, so what what much could I do under the rule of a narcissistic personality disordered woman? amongst many illnesses. Always stalking me, always following me with her little crew of kids, whether it be on a security camera or within, doesn't matter. Eyes are always on me. Thank you. We love attention. 
She comes to my door, opens it, because at the time I didn't have boundaries. Learned through gaslighting, of course. And starts to tell me, did you throw up in the bathroom? What? And I'm arguing with her about the fact that I never threw up in the bathroom. Arguing in the way where it wasn't, it wasn't me yelling, it was more like just incredulousness. Like, where did you get that from? All in my head. Because that's what gaslighting does. You can't talk to a narcissist. So they gaslight you into gaslighting yourself, into not saying anything, but speaking up in your head. I remember feeling so bad that day because she does that to humiliate me. In front of people, she does that to humiliate me. Yelling at the top of your lungs in a way that makes me feel crazy. That makes me want to curl up inside. That makes me wonder, did I throw up in the bathroom? Even though I know I didn't. She just kept saying it out of her fear of catching COVID. Despite being the one who gave everyone COVID in this house. I remember that day feeling so horrible and not knowing what that was. Until the other day when I woke up from a dream and I realized, oh, that's what gaslighting is.